It feels like winter right now, but the days ahead will be considerably warmer and drier. Away from that, what is the anticipated performance of the Aptera Solar EV in cold winter weather conditions? That's what this hour's briefing is all about. Greetings and welcome to the Hypino Channel's Technologics SL Briefing. The solar-powered vehicle Aptera, located in Carlsbad, is getting closer to being roadworthy. The car's San Diego County manufacturer claims that their mission is to reinvent transportation through more creative and environmentally friendly means. Here are some recent updates about Aptera to be aware of before we discuss its ability to function as a solar-powered electric vehicle over the winter. In Carlsbad, a solar-powered vehicle called Aptera is under development. CEO Chris Anthony stated, in reality, the wireless nuclear generator in the sky should provide the majority of our power. We're really producing some really interesting cars that can help a lot of people cut their fuel expenses and move toward a lifestyle where they don't need to stop at gas stations or charge their cars. According to Anthony, their objective is to rethink transportation in a way that is more inventive and sustainable. Our goal is to transform the transportation sector into one that is more productive. Therefore, to build your car from the ground up, you want lower weight, more aerodynamic, more efficient powertrains, you know, things that consume less energy per mile and less content, Anthony explained. Lightweight composite materials are used to construct the vehicle. Its aerodynamic shape enables it to move quickly and lightweight. It takes only four seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Before we go any further though, if you're enjoying this briefing, do consider supporting this channel by giving it a like and clicking the subscribe button below. By doing so, you'll be allowing YouTube to know what you like and receiving updates on new videos as soon as they are posted. I'm grateful. Let's proceed. When the Aptera was put to the test in a quarter-mile drag race almost two years ago, it defeated the Model 3 from Tesla and the R8 GT Spider from Audi. Most people are unaware that forcing air out of the way can consume more than 60% of the fuel in a normal sedan or SUV when traveling at highway speeds. Thus, we began with aerodynamics, created a lightweight vehicle, and integrated an extremely efficient powertrain to create a vehicle that resembles a fish rather than a box truck, Anthony continued. In certain models, the three-wheeled vehicle may travel up to 1,000 kilometers using solar power. Its batteries are charged by the sun, but you can plug it in and charge it just like any other electric car in inclement weather or when your plans don't work out. Anthony reports that the company has successfully raised over $120 million and secured 16,000 investors through crowdfunding. He expects they will be available for purchase shortly, as over 46,000 orders have been placed thus far. We're starting production now, and by the end of the year, we hope to deliver our first production vehicle. What qualities does this solar electric vehicle, EV, have that help it endure or better adjust to the harsh winter weather conditions may be of interest to you, even though it is not yet in production? Just consider the following. What can we do to mitigate the effects of cold winter weather on electric cars? Let's try to respond to the aforementioned query. When winter approaches, converting from an ICE vehicle to an EV will take extra caution. Here are some things to be aware of. The winter may be unexpected if you're moving from an internal combustion engine vehicle, like an Aptera, to an electric one. Driving your new EV through the winter will involve some routine tweaks and extra planning, especially if you want to embark on a longer journey that will require charging along the way. Cold weather affects range, charging, and battery health. To get the most out of your electric vehicle in the winter, you need keep the battery pack as close to its ideal temperature as possible. Depending on your car, you can play about with a few different settings to accomplish this. The majority of contemporary EVs have battery pack temperature control, but you'll need to know how to take advantage of this feature and how it operates. All that being said, cold weather may not be as disastrous for your electric vehicle as you may have heard. Continue reading to find out more about how to handle this circumstance. 
cold weather significantly reduces range, and in very severe circumstances, your electric vehicle's range can drop by up to 30%. Don't assume that it needs to be nearly freezing outside for this to happen. The battery cell's higher resistance is the reason for this. The effectiveness and performance of the pack as a whole are so impacted. The ideal temperature range for the lithium-ion battery pack of an electric vehicle is approximately 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Therefore, your car will use some of its electricity to raise the pack temperature and maintain it there if the outside temperature falls below roughly 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember that even while your EV is off, this is still happening. As a result, if you leave your EV outside on a particularly cold night without plugging it in, your range loss will be far more than if you leave it outside during milder months. Data from a recent study by battery health firm Recurrent Auto, which examined over 10,000 vehicles, including the 18 most popular electric models in the U.S., shows that even in below freezing temperatures, EVs maintain 70.3% of their range. Certain automobiles outperform the average in this regard. For example, the Audi e-tron performed the best in the testing, losing only 16% of its range during the winter. The Volkswagen ID4 was the weakest model in this evaluation, losing an astounding 46% of its range in such circumstances. The majority of EV's lithium-ion batteries are less effective in cold weather, particularly when the temperature drops below freezing. This has an impact on the battery anode's ability to attract lithium ions, which have a tendency to cover the anode surface. This process is known as coating. The majority of this coating wears off when the battery is used, but it won't entirely disappear. Instead, it will build up and eventually impair battery performance. This will show up as a decrease in the battery's capacity, and as the anode's lithium coating thins and ambient temperatures rise, you'll also see a rise in capacity. In frigid weather, an electric car's thermal management system, which is typically based around a heat pump and battery monitoring system will be working extra hard to provide you the longest range possible while also protecting the battery. Fortunately, because they are tested and built to resist severe temperatures, current EVs have advanced to the point where battery degradation shouldn't be a concern for you. The rate of electron replenishment may sluggishly slow down during the winter months due to the strong dependence of EV charging speeds on battery pack temperatures. Winterizing an electric vehicle, EV, and matching its summer charging speed numbers can be challenging and require extra preparation. If you've chosen a fast charger as your destination, the car will automatically precondition the battery and get it ready for charging in many EVs, but in others, you'll see a distinct option for this. Your EV will recognize that you intend to plug it in and start to boost battery temperatures in preparation for charging as soon as you select a charger from the nav system. To find out if your car can accomplish this, definitely check the user handbook. You can also watch some YouTube videos to learn the steps involved. You won't receive nearly as fast of a charge as claimed if you skip this step, start the car unexpectedly, then connect it into a DC fast charger with a cold battery. This could help to explain the Idaho National Laboratory's finding that charging an electric vehicle, EV, in the winter can take up to three times longer. The study also found that this differed significantly depending on where you lived. EV owners were more likely to encounter these lengthier charging periods if they lived in the northern U.S. or in colder climates with worse winters overall. The amount of regenerative braking your EV can do is one of the simplest ways to determine whether its battery is not operating at its ideal temperature. Some EVs have the ability to regen more than 100 kilowatts of power, up to 300 kilowatts for the Rimac Nevera or 290 kilowatts for the Porsche Taken. However, if the battery is too cold to accept the power from the motors, the car will just slow down the rate of recuperation until the battery warms up sufficiently. As you drive, 
more regeneration will become available, or you can remotely heat your car to the desired temperature before you leave. You can guarantee that the amount of regeneration you experience won't vary too much by always leaving your EV plugged in overnight in the winter and scheduling your departure for the following day. That you're not really producing as much heat while you drive around normally may seem confusing if you're switching from an internal combustion engine, ICE to an electric vehicle, EV. The engine of a combustion automobile generates a lot of heat, more than enough to heat the cabin, and unlike an electric vehicle, you don't really consider how that heat affects efficiency or range. A portion of the waste heat generated by the electric motors and other parts of the EVs fitted with heat pumps will be scavenged and utilized to heat the cabin. However, on a chilly winter's day, this frequently won't be sufficient, so they'll additionally need to utilize their resistive heater to keep the cabin warm. For this reason, if you switch on the heater in an EV, even one with a heat pump, the estimated range will decrease right away. According to Polestar, outdoor temperatures can cut an EV's range by 10 to 12 percent. However, if the climate system is being used, that reduction can reach 41 percent. Relying only on the heated steering wheel and seats, if available, is one method to get past this problem and stay toasty in your EV. By keeping the ventilation off, you may get the best range and maintain the battery pack closer to its ideal temperature, as the heat pump will be able to utilize all of the heat produced. The radiant heating package, which adds infrared warmers to the door panels, armrests, and even the lower portion of the dashboard, is available on BMW's flagship X electric SUV. This encourages you to rely only on radiant heating for warmth during winter driving and works in conjunction with seat and steering wheel heating. When the car is unlocked, the flush fitting, occasionally motorized door handles on many EVs slide out. These appear sleek and contemporary and help the car's aerodynamics a little bit, but ice accumulation on top of them can make it challenging to get inside the car. You might need to be patient and imaginative if the manufacturer doesn't provide a certain method for removing the ice without harming the bodywork. This also applies to charging port doors, a lot of which seem ill-equipped to handle the problem of ice accumulation. Changing from summer to winter tires is another aspect of driving an EV in cold weather that reduces range. They produce additional rolling resistance because to the differences in their rubber compounds and tread patterns, which will reduce their range. In the winter, you should check the tire pressure frequently because it can change based on the weather and underinflated tires reduce efficiency even more. According to Michelin, rolling resistance can reduce an electric vehicle's range by as much as 20%. It also mentions that an increase in rolling resistance of 30% will result in a 3-5% to rise in electricity consumption. In an effort to improve the ratio of rolling resistance to grip, some tire manufacturers, such as Michelin, Hankook, and Nokian, have introduced winter tires designed specifically for electric vehicles, EVs. This will allow electric cars to travel farther during the winter without sacrificing safety. Kindly remember to like and subscribe to this channel in order to help us continue to bring you more thought-provoking videos like this one. We will now end our briefing there for the time being. I appreciate you seeing.